Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Nice Tank Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another beautiful creation from the Steam Workshop. This is, of course, the Bagger 300, created by Delta 07. And I have to say, this thing is just a beautiful piece of engineering. It looks great, it functions quite well. The only problem is a little bit on the laggy side, and the reason probably for that is it's been created out of completely one small ship block type and just have a look at some of the detail we'll have a quick run around from start to back of the detailing and then we'll have a go at seeing how well this thing functions so we've got the circular drill bit at the front that's perfect for cutting it into a sort of valley making yourself rather interesting mining terrains and you can just stick it into the ground and get mining away and you can see each one of the corners has a double layer of drill bits so that's going to really excavate the area fast and just look at the detail in the central drum area We've got actually a wheel that's been broken down. He's added this area on top of it. He's just decorated it so well. And they've added this skeletonized effects that feels like it's really industrial throughout the whole of the design. Now up here we've got two little cabins. So we've got a cabin here that you can observe and control the drill from. So it's all labeled out up there at the top. Absolutely beautiful. And if we go over to this side, we've got the same again. And these lights can be turned on and off depending if you're working in a dark environment. Up here, we have a small observation catwalk as well as these solar panels. And just look at the detailing that we've got on these rope pieces. Now, from a distance, it will trick your eye and you actually feel that these are some sort of large steel support ropes. But when you get close, you actually just find out they're just tires. Now, running through this other area that's been nicely triangle supported with metal blocks, we've actually got where the original sort of conveyor belt would be. But well, this has been replaced with a conveyor tube that just works the exact same way. And we've got a catwalk down the side so we can observe, see how the machine's going. If there's any failures or maybe a rock explodes, you can quickly maintain it using this catwalk, something I really like. Now, as we come back into this area, we've got the upper deck control area just in this part. So if I just hop into this, we can actually do a little bit of controlling. We've also got this tower area that docks out over the side a little bit like a combine harvester. So if I just switch back into my other camera, you can see how that hovers out over the side. And we can actually offload or and waste it supplies from the side there we've also got a landing bay here so a small ship could land on this pad collect the ore up and transport it back you can also see where they've got the rotor that's parked in this position as well it's currently in a locked sort of position so we don't actually move this thing around but if we unlock that we can actually rotate this fully so let's do that now so i'll get in control of my character head into this little control room here and then all i'm going to do is not press that button activate this disengage our landing locks so make sure everything's unlocked and then i should be able to rotate this upper part i think we're actually still locked on that's the lights let's just see if we can unlock our different bays so we're locked on at the moment so we're going to press eight that should unlock and we should be able to rotate the ultra part so there we go the upper part is now rotating freely we can mine up and down we've also got access over the pistons so we can retract and sort of bring up and down the main claw at the front see how that's bringing that segment up there so we can mine up and down in different areas just a really nice function it looks so realistic and beautiful so if we press two it'll also spin up the drills now if i turn three it'll allow me to actually spin the drill bit up on the end very nice indeed so let's actually shut that off and stop that drill bit from raising too high up so we're going to reactivate our gyroscopes turn on the piston once again so turn that off and it should stop at that area and lower itself down slowly and the drill nit bits need to be turned off as well let's continue the tour of the rest of this sort of ship or mining machine so what's really cool about this here is these various different crew compartments along this as well so if i go into this area for instance you can see this area has actually been raised up we've got this door on the side i'll spot my character back in in this area actually we need to get out of the cockpit and walk our way up so it's gonna be a little bit laggy this bit so i do apologize but this is what happens when you build a super awesome sort of ship it's just gonna be full of lag and hopefully space engineers one day will fix that so we don't have that situation so pop them doors open and we're into sort of like a break room maybe a staff room we've got another little button here that does something in german so we have a quick look oh it just activates some lights it's like a german light switch very nice we've got these little blinds out here so we can observe the mars landscape as we're eating our sandwiches on our dinner break we continue walking around this so let's skip back to f8 we can use the catwalk up the side here to get up to the upper deck if we wanted to so you can see this has been labeled as the mess hall so just spot the character back in on the mess hall floor pop that door open very nice indeed and now we're in the mess hall so the mess halls are in the rear area there and we've also got another spare room here at the front so we can have some crates maybe cargo or a changing room there we've got light switches throughout just a really nice design it's, it's great that he's got into the detailing of putting these extra rooms in because you wouldn't expect this just for a mining machine so back to f8 and we'll come out of the mess hall and we'll work our way a little bit further along the back so you can see the catwalk is keeping you there so you don't have to use your gyroscopes and we've got another one here so this is actually the Erectorium, 
I'm not too sure what that is. Let's open it up and have a look. So as we head into the Erectorium, we've got some bright lights. Oh, reactor room, that's what it is. So at the back here, we've got this very nice reactor room. Them spotlights are a little bit too bright for my liking. And there it is, it's all plumbed up and turned on. I think the spotlights might be causing a bit of a lag as well for this build. So maybe removing a few of these or turning them into another sort of block might be a little bit more useful. So let's open that, turn that door on, and we can actually enter the main deck here to do some maintenance if we wished. So back to F8, and we can continue up the catwalk to this rear area. So the upper deck is just like a hydrogen storage area. It's just an open sort of cabin, nothing too special in this area. But just the catwalk leading around is something quite nice. Just look how it's detailed that by using the blocks that have been inverted and then scaled them to a different size so it actually feels like it's a catwalk sort of reinforced area. And then up in this area, once again, we've got a few more of them steel rods that are supporting it. And something else that's really cool is adding these little cranes on top of different areas. So you can imagine as you're building this machine up that you use these little cranes to hoist different parts of it up to that area. And then we've also got another smaller crane up there on top by using the wheel blocks to like fake a sort of wheel drum for rope design. But very nice indeed. Let's try mining with this thing. So I've just started this machine off mining and I've noticed one big problem with it already. Since this drill bit is so powerful, it actually pulls the vehicle along as it's drilling. So some way maybe of locking the vehicle to the ground so that wouldn't happen would probably be a much better thing so if i go back to f9 now i can control this thing i can lift it up let's actually reverse the drill bit by pressing six and lift that up ever so slightly that should do as well and then maybe bring it a little bit more over to the left and start mining that you can see when the drills are actually drilling into it they start making that sound effect so back to five and we're just going to reverse that a little bit down and that should allow us to drill into this rocky area a little bit better. See, the rocks are still flying out the side of the machine to the left. But it's just really making this machine move all over the place. We just need some way of locking it to the ground to make it a little bit more effective. But it is a very fun thing to use. You see, the ore is all dropping outside. And the other problem that is causing this is that it's collecting underneath the wheels. And I think that's going to get stuck eventually if we're not too careful here. So we'll just have to work that out as we go. But a beautiful machine. I really recommend that you check this out on the workshop. I mean, even if you just give it a quick look and just have a bit of inspiration from it when it comes to building your own massive mining machines. It's just a masterpiece in its own right.